Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Since I recently spoke with David Harper, I thought I would cover an episode that featured Jim Bob. Silver Wings, when Jim Bob falls in love with an older married woman from season eight. If you're enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. This episode was written by Michael McGreevy, who played Hobie Shanks in the episode The Braggart. His father, John McGreevy, wrote quite a few episodes of The Waltons, and after appearing as an actor on The Waltons, Michael went on to write a number of episodes also for The Waltons. It was directed by Stan Lathan. A couple of things are going on in this episode. One is that Jim Bob is uh, working delivering mail for Ike Godsey, and Serena is working on getting her badges for her scout program. So Jim Bob is uh, about to start these various different deliveries. Um, I noticed in this one little segment, uh, I've, I've often talked about continuity, things not matching, but there are a number of challenges with matching things. In this particular case, uh, we're actually dealing with two scenes shot at two different times in two different locations. As Jim Bob leaves Ike's store with his satchel, it is over his right shoulder. In the actual episode, you see Jim Bob walk right out that door and then he is outside Ike's and the satchel is over his right shoulder. However, the scene inside Ike's store would have been shot on stage 26 at Warner Brothers and then the exterior when he comes out of Ike's store would have been shot on the back lot of the studio. So we would have shot them on different days inside the studio when we were on the sound stage and outside on a day when we were on the back lot. So someone has to keep track of what David was wearing, that satchel, and how that satchel was positioned when he left Ike's store. So in this case, everyone got it right. Jim Bob grumbles to Ike about having to take his car to a more remote location to deliver mail to Mrs. Randolph who is newly arrived in the area while her husband, who is a, a pilot, is away at war. Uh, he just hopes that his car will make it out there. So this is his first introduction to Mrs. Randolph. This particular location was also on the back lot of the studio. So here he encounters Mrs. Betsy Randolph, played by actress Patsy Ron. And uh, what I thought was interesting She's absolutely gorgeous, um, which Jim Bob thinks immediately as well. Uh, but interesting to me how often in this episode she wore very short shorts and little crop top sort of things. And I mean, this was uh, 40s and granted there were a lot of pinups for um, during World War II of um, various different Hollywood actresses wearing skimpy little outfits. But uh, I don't remember that being a primary thing that we saw in movies from that era. So I don't know whether this was the network's uh, ploy to get more, a little more attractive, sexy uh, aspect into the Waltons for ratings or whether the costumer just figured this was something that was worn in the time and thought that with this particular character, they could get away with it. And clearly she looks adorable in these outfits. But you'll see in several different scenes here, and yet again in a couple of others, she is wearing a, a variety of different short shorts. <laughs> so a little different for the Waltons. Jim Bob, clearly smitten with um, Betsy, uh, offers to come back and help repair things around her cabin, her mailbox, which is broken, the front porch, which he put his foot through, and then as he exits. Now, David talked about what a challenge it was driving that vehicle, and uh, being a very new driver, uh, he said he struggled with that vehicle as well and often ran into things. And in this case, we have an example of, I'm sure, a scripted incident where Jim Bob backs his car over the fence in front of the Randolph house. And then he says, I'll fix that too. <laughs> Meanwhile, Serena is planning all the various different ways that she can earn her various badges. Initially here around the kitchen table, she is working on her cooking and etiquette badge. And she has 
put together a menu for the Waltons, very different from anything that we would have normally eaten. And as we have talked frequently about food on the Waltons, this was a very unusual dinner, but there was a particular reason because Corbeth helped her put the menu together. So Corbeth, having her various different airs and her inclination towards fancy things, um, has helped Serena put together a meal that includes fishy soie, and um, an aspic and cucumber sandwiches and for dessert fried bananas to the very mixed reactions of the family. John helps by assigning various members of the family to witness the various different badges that Serena needs to earn. Um, and she struggles with this and the family is not all that helpful at times, but uh, it was a nice opportunity for Martha Nix to be featured in an episode. Aaron's supposed to witness Serena starting a fire and she has to leave so she turns it over to Jeffrey uh, and then you see uh, a point where uh, Ben has helped Serena set up a tent that she's going to camp in. Uh, we speak about Mary Ellen having uh, taught her, helped her with her medical, her little first aid badge. Then um, uh, she draws a portrait of Jason. Jason's supposed to help her with art. And so she draws this little portrait that looks more like a caricature, but very sweet. And then when she's supposed to use Jeffrey as a patient for her little medical first aid badge, she completely wraps him up like a mummy. Despite warnings from various members of the family and his father, Jim Bob falls hard for Betsy and she tries to let him down gently, but his heart is broken and it, he confesses to to daddy that he fell for her, that it just kind of hit him hard and, and now he doesn't quite know what to do with it, but he's in a lot of pain and John is very understanding and tries to help him through it. Ultimately, Betsy comes and talks to Jim Bob and they resolve that they don't want to lose the friendship and so that they're able to work through this. Unfortunately, Betsy gets a telegram that her husband was killed in action and Jim Bob is there for her as a good friend would be. At one point, knowing how much Jim Bob wants to fly and that that's his dream and she encourages him to find a way to pursue his dream and to not let anyone talk him out of it, that there's other ways to be able to fly than actually being able to be a pilot in the military. Uh, so she gives him that. And then she arranges for a friend to come in his biplane and give Jim Bob a ride in the plane. Now this location was shot out at Indian Dunes Airfield in Valencia. And um, I seem to recall, this is, a, this is a biplane. And when I did wing walking for Circus of the Stars, it was this kind of an airplane, very much like the one used in the Wing Walker, that uh, was the kind of aircraft that was flown when I was doing the wing walking. And you have an opportunity from within the plane to see a few aerobatics and you see a few from the outside here. Uh, David would not have been in the plane. These would have all been shot um, against a screen, that sort of thing. Uh, the wind, you can tell on his scarf, is not blowing as hard as it would have been if he were really in the air and also for safety purposes. However, I seem to recall um, a story that our, our cinematographer uh, did go up in the plane to get footage from inside the plane. And I seem to recall him talking about there being a really, really bad landing and that, you know, he literally like they scraped the bottom of the plane and that, you know, he, if he hadn't had really thick soled shoes on that he could have been really injured. So maybe I'm just imagining that story, but I seem to remember hearing that story and I think it might've been on this episode, but I couldn't find any other details there about that. Overall, I felt that David did just really beautiful work in this episode. And it was an episode that in the final narration, they talk about how Jim Bob really grew up and that no one would consider him a boy anymore, that he had become a man, that this kind of grown up heartache had matured him in a way 
that you know he hadn't experienced before. So kudos to David for lovely, lovely work. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Waltons. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of The Waltons. I'll be back with more Behind the Scenes and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.